Welcome to my channel. Please like and subscribe and select the notification. You'll be notified on the next broadcast video. Right now, I'm using the uh, my Sony kit lens, the one that came with my Alpha 6300. And so far, I've been doing my, mostly all my videos. Because first, I was doing with the, uh, the kit lens at the beginning. Then, I didn't really like the kit lens up there. <laughs> if it's up, it's limited versatility. And before I got this one, the one that came with it, as you probably know from my previous video, I probably just, you know, link the description above. But this is, is my uh, 50 millimeter full frame. It's a 1.8. Uh, I barely use it because I kind of use it for portrait. But if it, the person's far away, it's fine. But it does give out some facial distortion at some degree. And, you know, some of the pictures that I took for portrait, I didn't really like it because it didn't match with the person's face. And it's, uh, it was, you know, it's probably best with a full frame. I mean, you could get away with it with the APS-C, but I'd rather use this on a full frame, probably get a much more better result. Until I buy a full frame, I'll put this aside. The first lens I purchased is this um, Sigma 30, um, 30 millimeter. Um, f2.8 dc art lens issued in 2013 as you can see right here there's still you know yeah it's i mean it's it's okay lens i mean it does the job and you know but i did took some pictures of it it did it does take some gorgeous pictures i mean it really it does take some very good pictures and i'm really satisfied with it I might keep it for a while or I might upgrade it to the 1.4 30mm. Okay, I'll put this aside here. This is the lens I use majority of the time. It is the 18 105 f4. <clears throat> so basically, I'll be honest with you, uh, most of my family portrait is coming from the kit lens and sometimes from the 18105. I barely use the 30 millimeter, but I should be using 30 millimeter. Should get a better portrait. But now, um, <clears throat> I just purchased a, another lens. And uh, where it is? It's right here. This is the lens I purchased. It is the Sigma. Um, the Sigma 16 millimeter f f 1.4. DC D D N contemporary lens, and you can, well, it, it's everybody know the intro, you know, it just you know the close up, the, the, the manuals, and ah, and here's the box, here it is. I mean, it, it's all right here, it's all right here. I'll just put this thing aside but neatly, register this lens later with the serial number and tag, and you know. Um, the other one, I'll keep the box in this. Let's just put it on the side. I just, I just read the manual later. So this is the, <clears throat> the sunshade hood. And here is the lens. It is a very heavy, beefy lens. Very sturdy. Uh, yep, it's, it's metal. Looks like something like this. And you could tell by right next to it, this, wow, it's, it's a big lens. It's a big uh, lens, you know. I'm gonna put it right here. It's now. I'm gonna show you the difference between, because right now the, <clears throat> right now I got this uh, kit lens at f4, at 4,000 ISO, and it should be no difference from this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch this and install this and you see the difference now you can see i just removed the kit lens and i installed 18105 is it's probably no difference it just probably that the look the focal length is probably a little bit different because of this is a you know 16 to 50 you know 16 to 50 and this is the 18105 so this was like a little bit further away and you know it's equivalent to 24 millimeters but this is you know this is what i've been using for a majority of, of my videos the 18105 i mean i like the lens i mean 
I like it the way I control it on the gimbal. I do have a gimbal. I don't like it the way it, I can control the, the zoom, but I mean, at the beginning, it was kind of, um, you know, flaky with the gimbal because some gimbal could work with the lens and some of them don't. And it's the way it is. But, I mean, soon later, you know, I was able to get the hang of it. I was able to enjoy it. And it was a very good lens for my gimbal work on, you know, for family videos and my personal fun. But I should be pressing more on it, too. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to switch the AT105 and install the Sigma lens. And I want to see the comparison of it. Now, I'm using that, uh, the, the Sigma 16 millimeter at f1.4 at 1000 ISO and I now understand I'm just looking at the monitor right now how clarity it is it's very clear I mean this is I'm using that a uh, hundred and I'm using a 1080p and it's very clear I could not imagine if this thing was at 4k it would be awesome but to make it a true comparison, because this is totally unfair, um, I'm, I'm going to put the settings at f2.8 and the ISO settings going to be 4000. And let's see the clarity is, because this is totally unfair, you know, for these two lenses. It's, it's totally unfair. So let's find out. Yeah, so now the setting is at f2. Sorry, I just lotion my hands. Recognize that I was being procrastinating not to lotion my hands, because when it during the winter time, my hands does get dry and I need to lotion them. If I don't, they start. And I use hand sanitizer to try to keep my hand from you know, since that we're in this condition and it kind of crack my skin. Yeah. So, but anyway, at f2.8 at 4,000 ISO, I'm in, totally impressed by looking at my monitor and the clarity on it. So let's see what happened if I raise it to F4, to be fair. And yes, it is at F4. But, you know, so let me change the ISO because, yeah, I think I was just screwing myself up. <laughs> And I didn't check the settings correctly. Drop down. At the 5,000. I mean, it's, it's okay, but yeah. Yeah, let's see here. So yeah, I mean. So very clear. I mean, got this very clear settings. It's amazing. I'm totally surprised. And it kind of tracks my face every minute of it. Um, this was, was a subpar. This was horrible. This was just a, like a hit and miss. And I can't believe it. This thing is just tracking my face every time. So I'm impressed with this uh, Sigma uh, lens. So I'm gonna play with this and, you know, see, you know, I could learn to I probably get a learning curve on how the settings on it, how to use it, not to use F4 all the time. No, actually not to use F1.4 all the time. I just need to change some settings on it because like, you know, you don't want to blow out some pictures and everything, get all blurry and buttery. And, but yeah, but now I understand why some people use this as a vlog camera. I mean, I do understand now. I mean, I've been heard about it on YouTube and everything. And now I, I finally purchased one. Yes, I've been procrastinating because I had to take care of other things. It's just something I just could have jumped, just got right away. But other things got in the way that make me frustrated of getting some of the equipment I wanted and some of the things, I mean, some of the equipment I really wanted. I mean, technically it does. It's always something in the way. You save your money for it, you plan to get it, and then boom, something happened. You'd be like, what? It's like, are you kidding me? Really? I got to, and I had to pay for it. I got to get it fixed. And it's always constantly like a money pit, you know. When you, when you own stuff, it just come a money pit because you got to participate 
technically you gotta participate in fixing things because things will break down your home or your you know other stuff that you need to rely on and it breaks down and you constantly throw money away and you do not want to go, go into no financial payment oh let's do this you know blah 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 i say you know what i'm not gonna mess with all that drama i just paid it right now and i don't have to worry about it later and that's that's my mom i pay right now and don't worry about it later because he paid in full you don't worry about no finance no drama no nothing period and it's done so i'm glad i got this lens is is this is what it is i totally need to change my setup that it is really bright man i made it too bright and everybody's you know i've got a you know relative that you know it's a photographer a not you know intermediate photographer no he's a good photographer and he always criticized me with my um lighting and with this new lens, it, it kind of helped me a little bit. Um, he's gonna criticize me about my shirt now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hear from him. And this is it, you know, because I was still gonna use this lens. Um, pl I'm planning to buy more gears and cameras in the near future. That's my goal. Is I'm trying to, you know, and there's a lot of stuff I want to do, and basically it's just that. Things I want to get, want to get, but things just got in the way of what it is. It's Murphy's Law, you know, like, why can't I get a break? I'm saving my money for something, I want to get something, and I can't get it. Because, to uh, be honest with you, you know, I was planning to purchase a new computer, I, I could buy it right now, but I need to save the money for what's going to happen, because I got to mitigate, mitigate all this stuff. And when I'm satisfied with this stuff is past, the trouble, trouble turbulence is past, then I will get the machine and I will show you. When I get the machine I wanted, I will show you what type of machine I was using. And you're going to just like, why you use this machine? You're going to find out. But once I'm ready to get this machine, because um, simply I could build my own machine because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a tech, tech guy, you know, I could build it. But... You know, like everybody already done this already. You know, there's a lot of people, our channel already did that, everything. I could have done the same thing. And they're gonna be no different from nobody else. You know, like uh, this, you know, just, I just need to probably gonna buy this machine for the security part of it. You know, you could buy any machine, you could set it up and do whatever you want and set up the way you want it. But doing the security part, I mean, each, it depends on the vendor you're dealing with, with the motherboard. And hopefully their vendor is, you know, keep up the par, tell you what firmware, you know, the latest of firmware's update and what it covers and what is fixes vulnerability of that. And then you can move forward from there. But anyway, I do like this lens. And um, this probably be my going forward vlogging lens and um, I'm probably going to use this lens for a lot of occasions. I will probably will buy another prime lens or technically I might buy another camera with a zoom lens. I mean, I got to do, I got to continue on forward. So yes, I've been working, I've been procrastinating on this channel and the photography side because I've been focused on, on my work and you know because the youtube algorithm everything and i was not being consistent on it not being proactive on it and I, I have to so this is a just a small step that is it's actually is a overdue small step forward it's way past overdue it is way overdue and i got to be more consistent on it and hopefully this will help me to move forward with this new lens and I really thank you for watching this, you know, the entirety of this video and I'll see you in the next video.